Hi. Let us see about other duties of network layer. Routing, forwarding and other services are being performed by network layer. Coming about uh, routing which is very in important concept in network layer. It is going to be uh, the responsibility of the network layer for routing the packet from its source to the destination where a physical network is a combination of networks various lands and vans and the routers connecting them there may be more than one route from the source to the destination so the network layer is responsible for finding the best route among them and uh, among the possible routes so it has to find I have some specific strategies for defining the best route and in the internet today it is done by running some routing protocols to help the routers coordinate their knowledge about the neighborhood and come up with the consistent tables to be used when the packet arrives. So that is routing. Next what is forwarding? Actually routing and forwarding are uh, directly related to each other. So forwarding, if routing is applying uh, strategies and running some routing protocols to create the decision making tables for the router, forwarding can be defined as the action applied by the router when a packet arrives at its one of its interfaces. So when there is a router here, it has one two three four four interfaces and when one packet arrives at its one of its interfaces then it is going to re refer to the decision making table to decide it is also sometimes called as forwarding table and uh, uh, it it uh, contains the details of the output interfaces so when a router receives a packet from one of its attached networks it needs to forward the packet to another attached network in unicast routing right or to some attached networks in case of multicast routing so one to one and one to many so to make this decision the router uses a piece of information in the packet header which can be destination address or a label to find the corresponding interface number so the destination address in the header b is taken data is taken as it is so when it is to be forwarded to b you have to send it through the output interface 2 so interface 2 through the interface 2 it is being sent and the destination address remains the same as b so this part is called forwarding and in this process the data this part of the uh, packet the data should never be modified this is called forwarding let us also see about the other services of network layer uh, such as error control so error control uh, is for uh, error detection and correction so the designers of the network layer in internet ignored this issue for the data being carried by the network layer but one reason for this decision is the fact that the packet in a network layer may be fragmented at each router which makes error checking at this destination uh, at this layer inefficient so the designers of the network layer however added checksum field in the datagram to control any corruption in the header but not in the whole datagram this checksum may prevent any changes or corruption in the header of the datagram next one is flow control where uh, it regulates the amount of data a source can send without overwhelming overwhelming the receiver if the upper layer at the source computer produces data faster than the upper layer at the destination computer can consume the receiver will be overwhelmed with data so in order to control this flow uh, this network layer maintains flow control and it maintains some buffers in order to maintain the flow next one is congestion control where 
congestion in the network layer is a situation in which too many datagrams are present in the area of the internet so congestion may occur if number of datagrams sent by source computers is beyond the capacity of the network in this situation some routers may drop some of the datagrams uh, however as more datagrams are dropped the situation may become worse because due to the error control mechanism at the upper layer so uh, the congestion has to be controlled and next one is quality of service so internet has allowed new applications such as multimedia communication with real time communication of audio and video so the quality of service q qos of the communication has become important so it is uh, uh, thrived by providing better quality of service and support these applications so how network layer is going to support this and security should also be taken care uh, during communication security was not a concern when the internet internet was originated but uh, when it is being used for various purposes it has become a big concern so to provide security for connectionless networks uh, we need to have another virtual level that changes the connectionless service to connection oriented the virtual layer called ipsec is introduced so we have to see about these things also in the later part thank you let us see about uh, packet switching in the next class